Okay, cool. So we're going to start those jump squats. In three, two, one. All right, let's get it. All the way down. Spring back up. Good. Really concentrate on squeezing those muscles in your legs. And then spring back up off the leg. Nice and low. Jump up. You're doing good. You're already halfway. 40 seconds goes really quickly. It doesn't matter if you're moving forward and backwards. You don't have to be dead on the same spot. As long as you're squatting nice and low and adding that little jump in. Got 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Next exercise, leg raises. Lie flat on your back. Lift those both legs up and both legs down. Both legs up, both legs down. All right, so right now you should be flat on your back. Three, two, one, let's go. Legs up. Put your hands either by your side, on your head, wherever you feel comfortable, as long as those legs are going up and down. Do this. Alright, we're halfway, we've got 20 seconds left. You don't need to lift your bum off the ground for this part, it's just a leg raise. Legs up, legs down. Got 8 seconds left. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, lunges. We're gonna go with that right leg first. So put your right leg in the front, left leg steps backwards, and you just keep on repeating that right leg predominant, okay? All the work on the right leg. All right, in position. Three, two, one, let's go. The wider you take that step back, the more you're going to concentrate on your right glutes and arse. The less of the step, more on the quads, the front of the leg. Yeah? So try and get that big. You have loads more muscles engaged if you take wider steps. 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Next exercise, knees in, knees out. Lie flat on your back, bring your knees in, and bring your knees out. Draw them in, draw them out. Make sure you're in position, because we're gonna stop very soon. All right, here we go, three, two, one, go. Knees in, knees out. Concentrating on your lower abs, really squeeze that part of your muscle. Let's look at the lower part, that's where you want to engage right now. Got 15 seconds left, come on. Flat on your back, okay? So just lie flat on your back 
and reach for your ankles, right to left, left to right. Left hand touches, left ankle, right hand, right ankle. And make sure you're nice and high up in the crunch. Three, two, one, go. Doing good. 10 seconds in. And remember, probably one of the most important parts about this exercise, stay nice and high. Don't do this, lying down, You're wasting your time. Get nice and high. And really engage that twist from side to side. 15 seconds left. Come on, we're doing good. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest, well done. Next exercise, calf raises. Okay, so just stand nice and tall and then tiptoe as high as you can. Okay, nice tall tiptoes. Get on your toes and get as high as you possibly can. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. Tiptoes. Get nice and tall, focusing on that calf muscle. Okay, hold it up there for a second if you can and then pop it back down. Very close with your legs close together, 
Then you're gonna go medium, then you're gonna go wide and squat with them. Then you're gonna walk back into the middle, stop in a very close medium wide basically. Three, two, one, go. One close squat, one medium squat, and then one wide. Walk back in, close, medium, wide. Keep repeating. Close, medium, wide. This one move isn't attacking so many muscles in your legs. Scissors, round 13, we've got two rounds left. So we're gonna do scissors, just lie flat on your back, chop, open your legs, like a pair of scissors. Open and close them legs, okay? So make sure you're lying down, and those scissors starts. Three, two, one, go. You can either have your hands here, have your hands on your head if you're a little bit more advanced and find it too easy. But if it's not, just put your hands by your side. As long as those legs are opening and closing, you'll be absolutely fine. Remember, this is round 14. You're doing really well. Keep it up. We've got 20 seconds left, we're halfway. Strong. Come on. 10 seconds left. Last exercise, one minute plank, or 40 second plank shall I say. So, what you've got to do is lie down, two things should be on the floor, your toes and your forearms, nothing else. This is the last exercise, so if you got it this far, well done to you. You made it for day one. Two, one, go. Alright, give yourself a round of applause. When you're finished, make sure you do a little cool down and stretch. Um, and prepare yourself for tomorrow, day two. Day two, the shoulders, and the same as we did today, we're going to just add some abs into every single shoulder exercise we do. So um, I hope you enjoyed it, and you're expecting the same sort of routine tomorrow for shoulders. Seven seconds left. Three, two, one. We'll not be doing in between. Please familiarize yourself with this handstand. Make sure you know what you're looking like. 
because we are going to start four, three, two, right, let's roll. If you want to get it easier for yourself, okay, just go further away. The harder you want it, come in with your feet. Easier you want it, just crawl away with your feet. The further away from you, the easier it will be. If it's still too difficult, just get on your knees and just allow your shoulders to do the work for you. But really, you want to try and get that intensity levels up. You should be on your toes. Strong. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, next exercise, circles for your stomach. You should be lying flat on the ground on your back and then just create some circles with your legs, okay? Big round circles with those legs. So lie flat on your back, get ready. Three, two, one, go. Just create those circles. Nice. Squeeze that lower part of your stomach because that's the bit that we're trying to target right now. Squeeze. Create that circle. 20 seconds in, we've got 20 seconds left. Engage that stomach, squeeze it. Next exercise, front raises. So just grab your dumbbells and alternately lift up your right hand and then lift up your left hand. Don't come any further than your chin, okay? Right arm, left arm, no further than your chin. Just keep alternately, okay? Right arm, left arm, so on and so on. Three, two, one, go. Don't go any further than your chin. If you happen to go a little bit further, don't worry, but try not to go anything further than your chin. Not trying to get injured, just trying to work those shoulders. If you're finding it a little bit too easy, okay, because you're, the weight you picked up is just too light, maybe do it together, okay? Just nice and controlled. What you don't want to do is swing your whole body and have your whole body moving like that. It wants to be nice, slow, controlled movements. Three, two, one, go. Next exercise, scissors. So lie flat onto your back and just chop open your legs. Some of these ab exercises we would have done on day one, we're just gonna keep adding them in until eventually our stomach starts to get. Those achievements. Three, two, one, go. Just chop open the legs like a pair of scissors. Up and down, okay? Flat 
back. Legs in the air. Positions. Three, two, one. Crunches. This time we're not engaging our legs. So the focus is on the top half of the stomach. Okay, so really engage that top bit here, the top right next to your chest. Use those muscles. Again, it's not about speed, it's not about doing it five million times. It's about engaging that stomach. Get nice and high into that crunch. Squeeze those muscles up there, really squeeze them. Good. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, rear fly. Okay, so what you want to be doing is sitting down in an invisible chair, okay, and just opening up your arms like that. Open up with your dumbbells, okay? So just sit down in your invisible chair, hold that position, get ready. Three, two, one, 40 seconds, let's go. Open up those arms. Again, avoid doing that like, squeezing, that like, moving all over the place. Try and keep it nice and controlled. And squeeze the back of the shoulders. Good. You can really feel this on the backs of my shoulders. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades. Next exercise, knees in, knees out. You've probably done this with me before. Lie flat on your back, throw your knees in, throw your knees out, throw your knees in, throw your knees out. Very self-explanatory. Alright, get that position, lie flat on your back. Three, two, one, go. Knees in, knees out. 10, 40 seconds, come. All the way out, all the way in. Again, we've got our legs involved. So start. Engaging that lower part of the stomach, squeeze it. I'm not sitting here just doing this and concentrating on the spice. I'm actually really engaging that lower part of the stomach. Ten days to see a difference here. So every rep, I'm squeezing that part of the stomach, bringing it in. I'm doing good. I've got eight seconds left. Three, two. Rest. Next exercise, punches. Okay, so all you've got to do is stand firm, left leg in front, or right leg in front, and hold those arms up and throw some punches. Okay, if the dumbbell gets too heavy over the 40 seconds, take a rest, recharge, get straight back in. All right, positions please. Three, two, one, go. This one is a little bit more about speed. Okay, so we're just trying to give a little shock to the shoulders. Some variation in there. This, this bit is really punches is really good for the whole shoulder to be honest because just holding the dumbbells up here alone is not enough, let alone reaching your arms out. You're working the whole ball of the shoulder. Really good exercise. Doing really good, we've got 12 seconds left. Push it. Strong. I can feel this in my shoulders, so I'm hoping that you can. Three, two, one. Rest. Next exercise, kick and ceiling. Okay, so lie flat on your back. Keep your legs up there the whole time. And just reach up for the ceiling, up and down, making sure that your butt comes off of the floor, okay? So just literally lie flat on the back, legs up, and then making sure your bum comes up and down every time. Three, two, one, go. I would say the most important thing about this exercise is that your bum comes off the floor. Keep that seated, but making sure that your bum gets nice and high off the floor. That way you can really engage that lower part of the stomach. And then as you get to the top, you engage, you engage that top part of the stomach too. Eight seconds left. Three, two, one. Oh. Alright, next exercise. You're going to combine both lateral raise, which we've done already, with front raise. Okay? So just open up and then come in front. Open up, come in front. Okay? Get in position. Because 
We are gonna go in three, two, one, go. Wide and in front. Wide and in front. This simple 40 seconds is working so many parts of your shoulders. It's amazing. One simple exercise.
trying to keep your back straight and avoid, you know, unwanted swinging. Try and keep it nice and controlled. Alternate curls. Nice and strong. Squeeze the front of your arm as you get to the top of the exercise. 15 seconds left.
Okay, we've got three options here, okay? So, if it's really difficult for you, you can put your hand here and carry on dipping. If that's too easy, you can put your hand here on your side and carry on dipping. If that's still too easy, you can put your hands up in the air. As long as you are dipping, I'm fine. And for those that say, well, I can't dip, it's just too difficult. Literally, put your hands here and carry some of your weight with the other hand also. And there's no reason why you shouldn't be dipping right now. Right, we're doing really good. Three, two, one, rest. All right, next exercise, dips. Okay, so all we're gonna do is just sit on your sofa, dip, as I, as I showed you in the very beginning. So just bum to the ground, bum up, okay? Sofa, chair, whatever you've got. All right, positions. Three, two, one, go. 40 seconds of dips is very tough. So do not go 100 miles an hour. You are only going to tire yourself out. Find that rhythm that works, hold it, just try to keep repeating. Maybe bend your knees and take a little bit of the pressure off. Yeah, so you don't have so much weight on the hip. Or just one leg. Yeah. Still too tight in your rest, rest. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise is the opposite side of the dips. Earlier on I did my right side. Now I'm going to switch it over to my left. And we're just going to dip on the other side, okay? Same exact routine, just on the other side. All right, positions, three, two, one, go. And the same as before. You've got easy, with the hand down, medium, the hands on the hips, or really difficult, with the hands in the air. As long as this movement is being created to work that side of the stomach, okay? Doing really good. Like I said, there's no excuses. Get those dips moving. Even if it means you're here, that's fine. We've only got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, rest. Next, hammer curls. Instead of your wrist facing forward, I want your wrist facing sideways, okay? Side, up and down, okay? Together, okay? Not alternately, together. All right, positions. Three, two, one, go. Strong. As you can see, I'm not swinging the whole body. Just keep it nice and controlled. If you've gone too heavy, the weight's too heavy, you might find that you are swinging. Lighten the weight a little bit so that you can really control it and work that front of the arm. Next exercise, kick in the ceiling. You've done this with me before. Just leave your legs up at a 90 degree angle and just kick the ceiling up and down, up and down, okay? Obviously back flat on the ground. All right, here we go. Positions, two, one, go. Kick that ceiling. Keeping your legs at that 90 degree angle, but avoiding yourself from doing this, yeah? Keeping it at 90, and then just kicking the ceiling. Engage the lower stomach on the way down, and the upper stomach on the way up. 10 seconds left. Next exercise I call one, two, three. You're gonna alternate curl, alternate curl, and then together, right arm, left arm, both arms. Right arm, left arm, both arms, okay? All right. Positions, back nice and straight. Three, two, one, go. Right arm, 
left arm together, right, left, together, and just keep repeating that for the whole 40 seconds. Good, strong. Halfway, we're doing good. Strong. And each time you do it, try to get that squeeze at the top. Even when you do it with your right arm, squeeze with the right, squeeze with the left, squeeze with both. Right squeeze, left squeeze, both at the end. Four, three, two, rest. Next exercise is scissors. Okay? So we're just going to chop open the legs. Open and close, open and close. You've done this with me before, but we're going to go through it again, okay? Really engaging the lower part of the stomach with your back flat on the ground. All right, let's get that back flat positions. Two, one, go. Scissors, just open and close those legs. Strong. Right now, I can really feel it engaging on the lower and the sides of my stomach. So should you be. If it's too easy for you, do what I'm doing, lifting my head up. If it's too difficult, just rest your head and relax. A lot of people feel it in their neck. Okay, just look up and relax your head. If it's too easy, just get in that crunch. That way you get more muscles working in your stomach. Three, two, one, time. Next exercise, kickbacks. So I need to lean forward a little bit. Okay, lean forward and just throw your arms back. Keeping those elbows nice and high. I would say the elbow is the key to this exercise. You have to find the elbow height. Okay, get it there and then lock the elbow. Three, two, one, four. Kick back. This definitely starts to get tough, but it's very good for the back of the arm. This combined with dips is probably one of the most effective workouts back of your arm, we all know the back of the arm is a bit stubborn. Tricep muscles, aka bingo wings. Get that squeeze at the back. Strong. We're doing good, we've got eight seconds left. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, window wipers. I'm actually really lucky that I've got this chair here. So what I want you to do is go on each side of the chair with your legs, back flat on the ground, and then just window wiper your legs, like a window wiper on a, of a car kind of effect. Just to the left, to the right. All right, back to the floor. Three, two, one. To the left of the chair, to the right of the chair. Look at my arms. I'm using it as like a support or as a lever. Thank you for 20 seconds rest. Just put your palms nice and close, not too far, not too wide. In three, two, one, go. This is not about speed. 
It's about you engaging your chest. Okay? So don't try and go 100 miles an hour. Just get nice and low. Engage that chest at the bottom. And then lift back up. Doing good. You've got 20 seconds left. You're halfway. Strong. Find it a bit too hard, get on your knees. Keep on your knees. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, leg raises. You should know this by now. Lying flat on your back, legs up, legs down. Okay, 40 seconds work. Simply lifting those legs up and down. All right, lie flat on your back, get in positions. Three, two, one, go. What's really important is that you don't go half to 90, okay? Just try and keep it to 90, lower the legs, back up. If it's too difficult, put your hands underneath your bum. If that's too easy for you, put your hands on your head. Just keep going, 20 seconds left. Lift the dumbbells up, lift them back to the ground, keeping your arms shoulder width apart, lifting them up, lifting them down, squeezing your chest at the very top. All right, so let's get you back on the floor. Positions, two, one, go. You might get the weight wrong, as suggested with my other videos, got nice and light today, just so that you familiarize yourself with the exercise, and then the more comfortable you get, up the weight. But to be honest, it's about squeezing and engaging those muscles, okay? Even when I go up right now, I'm squeezing my chest muscles at the end. I'm using this 15 minutes to engage my chest on every single rep that I do. It's not about speed or endurance, it's about using the muscle. Three, two, one, relax. Next exercise, bicycle crunch. So you just lie flat on your back, you ride your legs like a bike and then bring the opposite elbow to that knee, opposite knee, okay? All right, get in position, so lie flat on your back. In three, two, one, go. 40 seconds. Just like riding a bike. The great thing about this is every time you bring your knees in and knees out, you're working your lower stomach, and because you're tapping it with your elbows, you're forcing your upper stomach to work too. Great exercise for working the whole of the stomach line. We're doing good, we've got 15 seconds left. Strong, last 10. Three, two, one, tap. Next exercise, hold a push-up position whether you're on your knees or not tap your shoulder every single time you do a push-up, okay? So you'll do one push-up, tap your right shoulder. Next push-up, tap your left shoulder, so on and so on, okay? All right, get in positions, whether you're on your knees or your toes. Three, two, one, go. Tap, push-up, tap, push-up, tap, push-up, keep going. If you start it on your toes and it gets too difficult, just drop onto your knees. Tap, push up, tap, push up. If you're ready on your knees and you want to try it, just get on your toes and maybe just do one. Let's try it. Strong, try to keep it moving. It's only 40 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Next, crunches, get those legs. High up in the air, hold them there, hands on your head, and let's get those crunches in, okay? We should know this by now. If you've done day one, two, three, you should know these. Legs in the air, crunches. All right, in position. Three, two, one, go. Three, 
Once again, with all these chest exercises, especially the push-ups, okay, there's always an easier alternative, okay? It's usually by just going on your knees, okay? So don't forget that. If ever it's too difficult, clearly push-ups is a very difficult exercise, so just get on your knees. You're not embarrassing yourself, just work at your own rate. Alright, we've got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. All right, next exercise, dumbbell flies. So all you do is you lie down like you're doing the bench press, dumbbell press, but instead of keeping your elbows here, okay, you're gonna open nice and wide, close, open, close, open up them arms, okay? All right, in position, backs on the floor. All right, dumbbells up, two, one, go, flies. 40 seconds, open up and close, open up and close, open those arms up. Like you're flying. We're doing good, we've got 25 seconds left. Strong, okay. Last 10 seconds, come on. Keep it moving, that's what's really important about 40 seconds, it's just about keeping it moving. Squeezing the chest. Two, one, press. Next exercise, scissors, okay? You should know this by now. Lying flat on your back, open and close those legs like a pair of scissors, okay? Nice and simple. All right, get in position, let's get ready. It's the thing with this 20 seconds, it goes so quick. All right, three, two, one, chop it, open and close. Again, if it's too easy, lift your head up like I am, okay? If it's too difficult, it's hurting your neck, just relax your neck muscles. Just look up to the ceiling and relax. Maybe give your neck like five or ten seconds to, to relax and then engage your top half of your stomach by getting your head up into that crunch position. That way you're working the top and the lower part of your stomach. When the legs move, you work your lower. When your chest moves and your back, you're working your upper. You're doing good. Three, two, one, go. All right, next exercise. Close, medium, wide push-ups. Self-explanatory, start off really close with your hands close together. Go medium and then go wide. One push-up for every different width, okay? So get in position whether you're on your knees or your toes. Three, two, one, go. Close, medium, wide. As you can see, I'm not going 100 miles an hour. I'm really trying to engage my chest. Medium. And wide. Straight back into close. What's important is that I'm not dropping my knees. I'm not losing. I'm not losing this 40 seconds. I'm getting the most of it. Medium. And wide. Straight back in without any rest. Close. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, kick in the ceiling. Again, you should know this by now. Lying flat on your back, keeping your legs at a 90 degree angle and reaching for that ceiling. Most importantly, let your bum come off the floor. All right, we're gonna start. Three, two, one, go. Really concentrate on your stomach. This is day four, okay? Your stomach should be feeling strong. You should be getting stronger. You've been doing seven and a half minutes on stomach every day. You should be proud of yourself. 15 seconds left. Squeeze that core. Three, two, one, relax. Next exercise, dumbbell press, just like we did before. Okay, it's not a fly, it's a press, but add a twist in. So just twist your arms at the very end. Twist your wrist and uh, repeat basically, down and up, okay, with that little twist. All right, down in positions, all the way down, up and twist. And as you twist, get that squeeze. Squeeze the two chest muscles together, yeah? 
if you're not able to get the squeeze, you probably lift a, a weight that's probably just a bit too heavy. If you go nice and light, you get that squeeze, and that's what we're trying to do here. Engage every single muscle over these 10 days. Close grip. You do not want your arms out here doing a wide grip. 
Okay, you want to be nice and close inside, tucking it into your back and chest. And keeping your back nice and straight, slightly bent over, not too much. And when you get to the very end, squeeze your two back muscles together. Okay, this is not about 100 miles an hour, this is not about 100 reps, it's about using your back muscles. Try to avoid lifting your back up. Three, two, one, rest. All right, next exercise, knees in, knees out. If you've been doing the five days with me, you should know this exercise by now. It looks something like that. Knees in, knees out, lying flat on your back, okay? 40 seconds of knees in, knees out. And we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. All the way out, all the way in, all the way out, all the way in. Strong all the way up, all the way in. You can leave your hands by your side, or you can put your hands on your head. Whatever's easier for you, as long as it's getting done. We're doing good, we've got 20 seconds left, we're halfway. All the way out, all the way in. Squeeze that lower part of your stomach, because that's where we're working. Eight seconds left. Three, two, one. Next exercise. Wide grip, bent over roll. Just like what we did with the narrow grip, but this time, wide grip. Okay, so just have your hands on the outside this time, lifting up and squeezing your back muscles again. All right, you should be bent over, grab your dumbbells, get ready. Because in three, two, one, let's go. Notice how I'm holding it up there for a second, trying to squeeze those two back muscles together. Just like before, try to keep your back stable. You don't want to be moving all over the place. Squeeze those muscles that are going to help you stay stable. That way, the only muscle that's going to be engaged. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, you should notice with me, leg raises, lying flat on your back, lifting those legs nice, all the way up to a 90 degree angle, all the way back to the floor, okay? So you should be in position, lying on your back, because we're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. You do not, lift your, you do not need to lift your bum off the floor. Just keep your bum on the floor for this one. We're gonna get to that later. flat on your chest, put your hands on your head and lift up side to side. So I would use your elbows as the target. And lift your left elbow up, lift your right elbow up, coming up each time. Three, two, one, go. To that side, to that side. Really good for your lower back. Engage that lower back. And because you've already worked your upper back, it makes it just that more concentrated on your lower back. Make sure you get as high as you can. You don't have to lift your legs. You can just really concentrate on it. focusing on your lower back. The higher your chest gets, the more focus on your lower back. Just making sure you're going to the side. You don't need to come up straight. Next, scissors. You've done this with me loads of times. And if you haven't, you're about to do it now. Chop open your legs, lying flat on your back, like a pair of scissors, it's that simple. Open and close as many times as you can, focusing on the lower part of your stomach. Three, two, one, go. Three, 
focus on your lower part of the stomach just like before. However, when you add the scissors in, compared to leg raises, scissors, you just engage the outer part too. So we're targeting different parts of the stomach. You're doing good. You can have your hands here, or you can have your hands here, on your head, here on your chest, wherever is easier for you. As long as you feel like you're engaging the right muscles, your lower stomach, hip flexors. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, normal back extension. So just now we did sides. Now we're gonna do normal back extension, okay? So it's just raising straight up, straight down. You don't need to come to the side. You don't need to go left or right. You just come straight up. So get your chest as high as it can go. In three, two, one, go. Notice as I come up, I'm trying to hold it for about 0.5 of a second. I'm trying to get my lower back squeezed. Good. We're doing really good, we're halfway, we've got 20 seconds left. Engage that lower back. of this exercise in the top half of the stomach, right next to your chest, right underneath your chest. Concentrate on that part. If you feel it in your neck, look up to the ceiling, it helps. There's not much you can do to take away the pain in your neck, it's also working your neck muscle, but looking up to the ceiling helps for relieve some of it. Three, two, one, relax. Next exercise, bend over fly. So what I want you to do, a little bit like when you've done your bent over um, rows, do the same thing, but open and close your arms, okay? So just open and close, nice and wide. Avoid swinging, nice slow contractions. In three, two, one, go. Squeeze at the end. It's all about squeezing and engaging your back muscles. Keeping your back straight, okay? Avoid arching your back. If you need to look straight, look straight. To avoid yourself from doing it. Watch your back, please. Squeeze at the end. Engage that back. Doing good. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Kicking the ceiling, it looks very similar to a leg raise. So you're lying flat on your back, you're lifting your legs up and down, all the way up, all the way down, but then you're kicking the ceiling with it, okay? So this time your bum does have to come off the ground. So, lie flat on your back, get ready. Three, two, one, go. Full leg raise, and then kick the ceiling with it. Full leg raise, tuck your bum. Yes, this is working every muscle in your stomach. Because when you come up to there, you reverse the crunch. When you go down, you target it lower, and as soon as you get up here, you're now targeting it up. As you can see, I'm not going really fast. I'm trying to engage the whole abdominal wall. I'm using those muscles, engaging it. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, upright row. Hold the dumbbells close together like you're holding a bar, okay? And use your thumbs as the target. Bring your thumbs to your chin, and that will be classed as an upright row. So hold the dumbbells together like you're holding a bar, and just bring them up to your chin. Three, two, one, go. I always just imagine the dumbbells are a bar. Keep them close together. 
An upright row is an easy exercise to get the dumbbell weight wrong. You may have gone too heavy, you may have gone too light. Today's the day to just get it wrong, go too light, and then tomorrow you can get it right, or your next day you try, you can get it right. Or if you've gone too light this time, go a little bit heavier next time. This is really good for focusing on the top muscles of your back. Three, two, one, go. Next exercise, circles. If you haven't done this with me before, we're gonna do it now, lie flat on your back. Okay, and just create circles with your legs. To be honest, it's as simple as that, but it works nearly every muscle in your tummy. Start the circle from the top, in three, two, one, go. Start it from the top, and create the circle. Make sure you lift your bum off the floor before you start the circle. Yeah? Again, I'm not going 100 miles an hour because I'm trying to focus on using Next exercise, Russian deadlift. Okay, all you've got to do is keep your legs as straight as possible. You can have very soft knees. Use your heavier weight if you brought it with you. If not, you can use the same weight. And just stand up nice and strong, okay? Try and keep your legs as straight as possible. All right, positions. Three, two, one, go. Stand up nice and strong. Keeping your legs as straight as possible. Using your lower back. You're also stretching out your hamstrings and working your glutes a tiny bit. But I want you to work on that spring of your lower back, that hinge. If you get the weight wrong and you're not feeling it on your lower back, it's fine, just go up a little bit next time. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Meet in the middle, lie down flat on your back, hands on your head, bring your knees in like you're doing knees in, knees out, but then tuck your elbows in at the same time. Your elbows and your knees should meet in the middle, hence why it's called meet in the middle. Three, two, one, let's go. I use my ankles as the reset. When my ankles hit the floor, I know I, was, I, know I need to go again. My head also. So my head and my ankles hit the floor. And then I know I need to come up together. Because at first the coordination was all over the place. But if you use your ankles and your head as the reset, it helps. Next exercise, and the final one, 140 second plank. If you've made it this far, don't you dare give up now, you get this plank done. 40 seconds. If you don't know what a plank is, the only thing that should be on the floor is your forearms and your toes, nothing else. Three, two, one. Plank. All right, while you're planking, let me just give you some tips about today, okay? Back is a massive muscle, just like your legs. Um, so it's easy to get the weight wrong. Um, you shouldn't have gone light today, so if you did, well done. Just try to go a little bit heavier next time, um, the next time you do this. And if you found out you didn't get anything out of today, go and do it again with a heavier dumbbell, or heavier set of dumbbells. But if you feel like you did get a good workout, well done, keep it up. Try to go a tiny bit heavier next time. Three, two, one, well done, it's nice because you may, nev may have never done it before. Just lunge forward with the weight always on your shoulders and then as you come back, you just simply press, reach for the ceiling. We're gonna be doing that for 40 seconds, okay? So please get yourself in positions, get those dumbbells on your shoulders. In three, two, one, go. Take a big step, come back and press. Take a big step with the other leg, come back, and press. It's a 
full body workout. So we're going to try and do as many exercises where we work two muscles at the same time. Right now we're doing legs and shoulders. So we engage those legs on the lunge and engage the shoulders on the press. Scissors. If you haven't done this with me already, you're missing out. So you want to just be laying down, flat on your back, opening and closing those legs like a pair of scissors. Focusing on the lower part of your abs. All right, get in positions. Three, two, one, go. Open and close your legs. Concentrating on the lower part of the stomach. Position, squat, curl. I'm concentrating on the squat and I'm concentrating on the curl. I'm trying to get the most out of each exercise. Okay. Let me turn this way so you can see my back. My back is not leaning forward. I'm concentrating on that squat. Okay. And then I'm concentrating on the curl. I'm not just swinging it. I'm really concentrating it. Each rep, three, two, one. All right, the first scissors we did was horizontal. Now we're gonna do vertical scissors. So you lie in the same position, lying flat on your back, and you just vertically lift your legs up and down, okay? All right, get in positions. Hands down by your side or on your head. Three, two, one, let's go. Show you some easier options as we go along. Three, two, one, go. The easier option, drop into that push-up position and then roll with your right hand, roll with your left. Drop into the push-up position, right, and then left. But what you don't want to be is arched here, doing that, okay? You want to back nice and straight, row it. And obviously the harder option, normal push-up, row. Start the circle from the top. Three, two, one, go. Start the circle from there, all the way down. Lift your bum off the floor before you start the circle. There, 
and then bomb off. Start the circle. When you bomb up, come down. Strong. I'm done with David. Really concentrate on those stomach muscles, please. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, kickbacks. Really good for the back of the arm, one of the muscles that is hard to target with another muscle, so we're just gonna go straight into kickbacks. Bend over a little bit, elbows nice and high, and throw your arms back, okay? All right, we're gonna start that in three, two, one, go. Trick is not to let your knees touch the floor. 
squat, push up. Unless of course you need to do your push ups on your knees, then you get in. Once you're up, don't let your knees touch the floor. Pull up, push up, down, sorry, squat, down, push up. Squat, 10 seconds left. Come on, let's get as many as we can out in that last 10 seconds. Pretend you're riding a bike with your legs, okay? And bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee as you ride your bike. All right, lie down flat on your back positions because we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. Just ride your bike with your legs. And let your opposite elbow touch your opposite knee. Really get that motion. Move with it. Don't just stay like this. Like really move with it. Get that elbow over to that knee. Get him over there. Get the knee in if it means. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Last exercise. 40 second plank. If you don't know what a plank looks like, it looks like this. The only thing that should be on the floor is your forearms and your toes. And even if you can't do an easier option, you just do that. Even if it means you have to drop, you drop and you get back in. Three, two, one, let's go. Plank. All right, as you know, there were some exercises like kettlebell swings, you know, push up with rows, press, that you may have got the weight wrong, and you can probably do it going up just a little bit, maybe going down just a little bit. Trial and error, go back, do it again. Get your weight right and enjoy it. Hold that plank strong, try not to drop. Every time you drop, give yourself a punishment, like five push-ups at the end. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, I don't know what a burpee is, but just in case you don't, please look on your screen and familiarise yourself with it. Because we are going to be starting those burpees very soon. Alright, let's get in position. Three, two, one, let's go. As many burpees as you can in 40 seconds. If this don't get our blood pumping for this workout, nothing good. Really concentrated on squeezing the muscles over the last six days. Now let's just get some movement in. Fifteen seconds. Left. Three, two, one. Press. Next exercise. Looks like this. Circles. With your abs, my heart's already beat. And this 20 seconds about to fly by. So look on screen, familiarize yourself, and get ready. Circles with them legs in three, two, one, let's go. Start the circle at the top, and bring it all the way around. My heart's already beat. Forget all that squeezing stuff today. Okay, you just concentrate, get in as many reps as you can for that 40 seconds. When it comes to abs, still get that squeeze and save your energy for that cardio bit, for that flat attack. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Next exercise, mountain climbers. In the push up position, one foot should touch the floor, the other position should jump in. Jump in, jump out with one foot, meeting the other in the middle. Okay? Look on screen, you'll see what it looks like. Alright, everyone should be in the push up position waiting for me. Three, two, one, 40 seconds, let's go. Reps, 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 get those reps in. Throw those knees in, throw them out. Three, 
We're doing really good. We've got 20 seconds left. Just keep those legs moving in and out. Three, two, one. Rest. Next exercise. Crunches. Get those feet high up in the air. Hold them there. Put your hands on your head and get as many crunches as you can in that 40 seconds. This 20 seconds is going way too fast to stay. Alright, legs in the air, wait for me. Three, two, one, let's go, crunches. Squeeze the upper part of the stomach. If you've got 15 minutes, I'm going to get a really effective fat burn workout. Come on, do this. We'll be preserving some energy because we've got some killer exercises coming up. 15 seconds. I almost use the abs like it's lying down to catch my breath because I know what's coming. Three, two, one. Next exercise scissors, jackknife, whatever you want to call them. Just get in the push up position and open and close your legs. Okay, with a jump. Has to be a jump. Open and close them legs. Okay, simple. Hold the push-up position. Open and close the legs. Too difficult, get on your forearms. Three, two, one, let's go. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Simple. As many as you can in that 40 seconds. Squeezing your abs. Squeezing your triceps to hold you up in your chest. Stay there doing that for 40 seconds. Alright, everyone should be in a push up position. Three, two, one. As many as you can in 40 seconds. Throw them in, throw them out, throw them in, throw them out. I think the trick for you today is not stopping because you are going to want to stop. Just try not to and keep it going. Throw the knees all the way in as much as your flexibility will let you. I can get all the way into my hands. Try to get all the way in as much as you can. Strong. Three, two, one. Rest. Next exercise, side dips. Doesn't matter what side you do first. The only thing that should be on the floor is that forearm and that foot. Whatever side you're doing, and you're going to be dipping your body up and down, as you can see on screen. Alright, everyone in position. Three, two, one, start dipping. Just dipping the hips to the ground. If it's too difficult, just put your hand here. Keep dipping. If it's too easy, put your hand up. Keep dipping. 
please save some energy. This next exercise we're doing after this is not easy. So make sure you preserve some energy. And like I said, on the cardio exercises, just try not to stop, try and hold it for the whole 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Next exercise, we started with burpees. This time we're gonna do burpees again, but with one leg only, okay? So as you do the burpee, keep one leg in the air while you do the whole burpee. And then switch it to the other leg on the other burpee. All right, positions. Three, two, one, go. One leg in the air, up you get. Switch leg, up you get, switch leg. the other side. So if you did this side, now switch over to that side. Alright, so get ready, because we're going to go. Three, two, one, go. Got good news for you. The next exercise is hard, but it's not impossible. Those burpees are a killer. Next one. I deliberately put it there because I knew those burpees would take it out of me. Alright, we're halfway, we've got 18 seconds. Three, two, one. Next exercise, tap your knees. So it's literally just Jogging on the spot, reaching for your knees, up and down, okay? Ooh. If you're out of breath, good. Use this time, so you can grab some water quickly. All right, positions. Three, two, one, go. Just get those knees up and tap them for every step. Tap them. I'm not calling them high knees, but if you want to get your knees nice and high, get them nice and high. I'm just calling them knee taps because I'm having a little rest. I know what's coming next. And believe you me, it's not nice. David, we've got 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Next exercise, straight into abs. Is knees in, knees out. Very self-explanatory. Lie on your back, draw your knees in, draw your knees out, draw your knees in, draw your knees out. Very, very simple. <clears throat> All right, everyone should be on your back. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Knees in, stretch them up, bring them in. Explosive jumps. Three, two, one. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a pause. Two, three seconds. Then in. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Take that. 
out. Pose. Take it if you need it. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Pretend there's an obstacle in front of you. You're trying to jump over it. Go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Ooh, next exercise. Leg raises. Okay? Lie flat on your back. You can barely talk. Lift your legs up and down. Two. You're gonna need it after what we just did. Alright. Lie flat. Wait for me. Three, two, one. Leg raises. All the way down. All the way up. All the way down. All the way up. You should really be feeling it from that jump. Those five jump pulls. Oh my. I think they're worse than burpees. So just look on screen, familiarize yourself because we are going to start these push-ups very soon. Okay, positions. As many push-ups as I'm counting, 40 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Go at your own pace. Don't worry what others think about how fast you're going or whatever. Just go at your own pace and get it done. And as you know, in between every upper body exercise today, we are going to be doing a stomach exercise. Nice and low to the floor. And if it gets too difficult, or you're finding that one just too hot on your knees, all the way down to the floor. Use your belly button as a target. Get your belly button to hit the floor. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, bicycle crunches. So I want you flat on your back, pretending to ride a bike with your legs. And as the knees come in, Touch it with the opposite elbow. Okay, simple. Ride your bike with your legs and touch it with the opposite elbow. Okay, cool. Positions. Three, two, one. Let's go. Just reach over for that knee with the opposite elbow. Strong, get your dumbbells on your shoulders and reach it up to the ceiling. Look on screen, familiarize yourself. I would grab the lighter dumbbell if I was you. And just touch that ceiling up and down, up and down as many times as you can in 40 seconds. All right, let's get nice and strong. Hold it back nice and strong. Three, two, one, go. As many times as you can in 40 seconds. Try not to wobble all over the place. Keep your stomach and your back nice and strong. Squeeze your bum cheek to stop your legs from wobbling all over the place. Down to your shoulder blades and back up to the ceiling. Okay, 
we've got 10 seconds left. Next exercise, crunches. Get those feet nice and air, nice and high in the air, 90 degree angle, hands on your head, and crunches, okay? You've done this with me loads of times. If you haven't, go back on my videos, you'll see it. Legs high up in the air, positions. Three, two, one, let's go. Reach up into that crunch. Should be the higher you come up, the more you work your stomach. Try doing it, try come up really, really hard and you'll feel it straight away in your stomach, the top part of your stomach. If you just come up to here, pretty much wasting your time. Get up as high as it will let you go on each single rep. Bent over row. Okay, so what we're gonna do a close grip row for this one. So grab your heavier dumbbells and just keep your hands close to your chest at all times. Fist facing outwards, okay? And just draw the weight towards your chest. We're gonna do wide row later, so keep these very close to your body. Positions, three, two, one, go. Really close to your body. Up and down, squeezing it, okay? Don't allow your back to move up and down. Your back should be staying solid. Squeezing the two back muscles as you get to the top. And remember, you're close grip right now. Later on, you're gonna do wide grip, but for now, stay really close to your body, stay close. By the end of it, it should be almost touching your chest. That's how close you wanna be. Next exercise, ankle taps. So I want you lying flat on the ground, bend your knees, and just reach for your ankles. Left hand, left ankle, right hand, right ankle, and so on and so on. Just get as many of those reps as you can in the 40 seconds. Yes, positions. Three, two, one, go. Stay nice and high. Do not lie down here, as I explained before. Okay? The crunch position is up, the upper back, off the floor. and angle taps as you can. Swing in, get that side involved. So really do reach over. Then good, got 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Next exercise, curls. Stand nice and straight, like you did with the shoulder press, okay? Have a look, stand nice and strong, back nice and straight, squeeze your bums so that you don't move all over the place, and curl that weight up to your chin, up and down. I'm gonna grab the heavier weight, but if you feel that you wanna grab the lighter, be my guest. Three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze your arms throughout the whole exercise. There is no point just swinging your arm up and down. You're not getting anything out of it. Squeeze the front muscle in your arm, your bicep. Stomach and your hip flexors. Go 
10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Next exercise, I want both your dumbbells in your hand. I'm grabbing my lighter ones, I would advise you to do the same. Put your hands up and then down to the floor, keeping your elbows locked. Have a look on screen. Lock your elbows, that's the most important thing. Back down to the side of your head and then back up. Okay? All right, positions. Three, two, one, up. Start up here. Down. And then back up to the ceiling. Down. My elbows are staying as still as I can. I'm not allowing my elbows to move. Well, I will. If they are, it's very little. I'm squeezing when I get to the top. I'm feeling the contract as I get down here. And then I'm feeling the rep as I get to the top. Working my triceps. Squeeze it back in my arm. Three, two, one. Next exercise, circles. Okay, so you may as well just stay on your mat, really. And just lie back and create that circle with your leg, okay? The circle starts from the top. So while you're up there, you just draw that circle with your leg. Start the circle from the very top. All right, lie back. Three, two, one, go. Start the circle from up here. And as you start the circle, lift your bum off the ground. Okay? So start the circle by lifting, and then the bum dropped at the bottom. Come up here, lift, and then just speed it up. Next exercise, really good for the shoulders. Okay, lateral into front raise. So you're gonna do a lateral raise first, straight into a front raise. Lateral, front, lateral, front. And you're just gonna keep repeating that for as many times as you can in 40 seconds. Okay, grab your lighter weight. I wouldn't grab the heavy for you. All right, positions. Three, two, one, go. Squeeze at the top. Same again, squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the very top, squeeze at the very top. Once again, squeeze your bum to stop your legs from moving, and squeeze your abs and your lower back to stop your upper body from moving. You want to stay as still as a lamppost, only allowing your shoulders and your arms to come up without the swing motion. Use your shoulders. Doing good, we've got eight seconds left. Kicking the ceiling, okay? Lie back. This time when you kick the ceiling, I want to keep your legs at a 90 degree angle. I do not want you to keep the floor. So get down there, keep your legs upright, and then just tuck up for the ceiling. Tuck it up, tuck it up, tuck it up without dropping it back to the floor. All right, positions. Feet in at 90, three, two, one, let's go. See how I'm not going back to the floor? Next exercise, we done. Close grip, bent over row earlier, remember that one? Now we're gonna go wide grip, okay? So you're just gonna hold your arms out wide. This time you're not gonna come close to your chest, you're gonna go wider out, working those wider muscles in the back. I'm gonna grab my heavier weight, see if you can, see if you can do the same. Eight, three, two, one, let's go. See, I'm going really wide. I'm not allowing my hands to come close to my chest like it did last time. But I am also focusing on keeping my back straight. Yeah, I'm not allowing my back to arch. You do the same. If you've got the weight wrong, don't, don't change it now. Just, just hold this weight. Do it again another day or day, it's wrong today. 
Put a current weight heavier or lighter. <clears throat> Do good. Three, two, one. Next exercise. Oh, one of my worst. I hate this. Sit ups. Okay? So, what you've got to do is just lie flat on your back, bend your knees very slightly, sit all the way up like you sat up in a chair, and repeat lie down, sit up, lie down, sit up. So, positions should be bent knees, hands on your head, three, two, one, let's go. Sit all the way up, lie all the way down, sit all the way up, lie all the way down. Um, familiarise yourself with it, get yourself ready, because we're going to start very soon. Hold that right leg really solid, three, two, one, let's go. The longer the stride, the more muscles you attack in your thighs. The shorter your stride, the more you will just attack your quads. We want to get as many muscles hit as we can. We're halfway, we've got 20 seconds left. Knee, nice long stride, get low with it. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, crunches. Feet in the air, 90 degree angle. You get as many crunches as you can with your stomach, okay? Try and keep those feet locked. We get as many as we can done. You should know this by now, you've done this with me loads of times. All right, feet in the air positions. Three, two, one, go. Get nice and high in that crunch. Don't waste your time by just coming a little bit low. Get nice and high. Make sure your dumbbells are close because we're gonna need them in a second to do the left leg. Lunges. Please just come up. Do not waste it. Don't just do a half rep. Come up nice and high. Three, two, one. Well done. Next exercise. Left leg lunges. So obviously, just repeat what we did on the right leg with the left leg. Lock your left leg somewhere here on the mat. And throw that right leg back and forward. Just repeat what we did on that right leg. All right, positions. Three, two, one, let's go. Don't be surprised if one leg feels a little bit more wobbly than the other. Everyone's got that weaker leg or stronger leg than the body. It just takes time to strengthen. And remember, the longer the stride, the more muscles you will work in the legs. 
and bump. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, leg raises. Lie like flat on the mat, get those legs up and down. Bring them to a 90 degree angle and then bring them back to the floor. Keeping your legs as straight as possible, please. Make sure your dumbbells are close. Don't put them back on the rack, they're gonna be easy. Three, two, one, go. All the way down, up to 90. All the way down, up to 90. Try not to hit the floor, but be very close to it. See where my hands are? You can even have your hands there. Have your hands on your head. Having your hands on your head makes it a little bit tougher. You've got no support at all. But if you're finding it too easy by having your hands here, please put them on your head. Eight seconds left. Three, two, one. Next exercise, jump squat. Have a look. All you've got to do is just get nice and low and then jump as high as you can without headbutt in the ceiling. Don't jump ridiculously high, it's just a jump squat, okay? So put your two feet shoulder width apart and squat and jump. Positions, three, two, one, let's go. 40 seconds of jump squat. Don't worry if you're not staying on the same spot and your feet are moving a little bit forward or a little bit backwards. Just keep squatting and keep jumping. This is a burner. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, bicycle crunches. Just lie down, flat on your back. Ride your bike with your legs and bring that elbow in. Opposite elbow, opposite knees. Good, all right. Flatten your backs, please. Positions, three, two, one, go. As many bicycles as you can in 40 seconds. If you're feeling like me, Make sure your bottle of water is nearby and as soon as this one's off, have a quick sip. Ten seconds left. Just keep riding that bike. Touching those knees with those elbows. If you can't touch them, just reach for it as best as you can. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise. Alternate lunges. So, a bit like what we do with the right, come back and then repeat it with the left. Take a step back and then take a step back. That back, that back, okay? Positions, three, two, one. Right leg, left leg, right leg. Next exercise, meet in the middle. So, lie flat on your back, bring your elbows in, both knees in at the same time, and meet in the middle. The two body parts are meeting in the middle, the elbows and the knees. All right, lie down, positions. Three, two, one, go. Continue to meet in the middle. Try to get your ankles to tap the floor very gently for every, every rep. I call it the reset button. Every time you hit the floor, it's time to come back in. 20 seconds of halfway. Right 
Take the second one. Keep pushing, move. Three, two, one. Next one, you're gonna need your dumbbells for. Okay, so just spread your weights, legs as wide as elbow, wide squat. Okay, and get those dumbbells, holding the dumbbells in between your legs as wide as you can. Focus on the bottom and the insides of your legs. That's what wide squats are for. All right, as many wide squats as you can in three, two, one, go. Drop the weight in between your leg and get as low as you can. Squeezing your leg muscles, don't go. 100 miles an hour and not use any muscles at all. Squeeze on the way down and squeeze on the way back up. Doing really good. 15 seconds left. Next exercise, wipers, window wipers. Have a lay down, bring your legs to the left, and then bring your legs to the right, like you're doing a normal window wipers, like you're doing a normal leg raise, or just bring your leg to the left, leg to the right. Put your dumbbell in the middle of the mat, get in position, and go. So just avoid the dumbbell, yeah? Just avoid it. So you're just going from side to side, like a car window wiper. Yeah, it's nice and, well I say nice and easy. It's tough but it works. We're halfway, we've got 20 seconds left. Seven seconds. If you're hair clicking, it's absolutely fine. You're not gonna injure yourself. Three, two, one. Next exercise, grab your dumbbells, you're gonna need them. Close, medium, wide. Always keep the dumbbells on the outside. Close, spread your legs, medium, wide. Always keeping the dumbbells on the outside. Really rise yourself. All right, dumbbells in hand. Three, two, one, go. Squeeze the legs. Close, medium, and wide. Dumbbells always on the outside. Close, medium. 25 seconds left. Just keep repeating. Back to close. Okay, good. Three, two, one. Next exercise. Lay down flat on your back. Bend your knees, ankle taps, okay? So just reach for your left ankle with your left hand, right ankle with your right hand, so on and so on. Your knees should be bent, as you can see. All right, positions. Three, two, one, let's go. Stay high in the crunch, reach over. Reach in for those ankles. If it's too easy, your legs are too close to you. Look, I'm not doing nothing. Bring them further away. So you have to reach for that ankle. Who's in the side of your stomach. Then lift the weights back up like a normal squat. Pulse down there three times and then get back up. Lift the weights on the outside. Three, two, one, let's go. Pulse three times and then get up. Return sideways. Pulse three times and get up. Two, Squeeze those muscles while you're pulsing. Strong. Three, two, one. 
two, one, three. So next exercise, kicking the ceiling. You want to hold your legs lying flat on your back at a 90 degree angle. Don't go past the 90, as you can see, and you just kick the ceiling, lifting your bum off, on, off, on the floor. All right, all right, positions. So hold that 90 for me, and let's go. Just keep reaching for the seat. We're halfway, we've got 20 seconds left. Just keep reaching for that seat. straight back to where you was, and instead of opening and closing your legs, you can lift one leg up, lift one leg down, so on and so on, okay? All right, get down in position at 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go. You can really feel my lower stomach, because we've been doing it over the last 10 days without even noticing. My stomach's already feeling it. I hope yours is too. 20 seconds left. In between, when you've got that 20 seconds rest, that's when you have a drink. Okay, just a quick sip, don't take too much. Just enough. We'll grab some air. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, back on your backs. Okay, leg raises. Lift your leg up to 90 degrees and then as close to the floor as you possibly can without actually touching the floor. So just legs up, legs down, legs up, legs down. Just making sure that you don't touch the floor. All right, back to the floor positions. Three, two, one, go. All the way down, almost hit the floor. Come back to 90. Down, back. 40 seconds, as many leg raises as we can. We're halfway, we've got 20 seconds left. You can either have your hands by your side or on your head, whatever you find easier. If you want to give yourself a little bit of a difficult time, just put your hands on your head. It makes it harder for the stomach, there's no support. Three, two, one, rest. 
The next exercise, very similar to leg raises. If you have a look, you'll see it. Just up, and then bring the legs to the left. Bring it back to the middle, and then bring it to the right. Bring it back to the middle, bring it back to the left, so on and so on. Okay, so very similar to leg raises, except for you go to the side on the way down. All right, positions, three, two, one. Start up, to the left, back to the middle, back to the right, back to the middle, left. Always come back to the middle, and then go to the, the opposite side. Three, two, one, relax. 
Okay, stay here with the side of the stomach. We're gonna move on to ankle taps, okay? So you're pretty much in that position, and just reaching over for your ankles. Okay, with bent knees. So bend your knees, have a look. And just reach over the ankle. I would say the key to this is staying high in that crunch position. Okay, all right, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Stay high, do not lie low. Stay nice and high. Reaching for those ankles. I really need you, when this 40 seconds is up, to have a quick drink, because the next exercise is quite tough. Really focus on the sides of your stomach. Three, two, one, rest. If you need that drink, quickly grab it, okay? If you don't, Watch the screen and look what's coming next. It's called plank ladders. I need you to get into that plank position and then crawl up into the push-up position. Get back plank, back into the push-up. Plank, push, plank, push. Ladders, plank ladders. All right, positions please. Three, two, one, let's go. Crawl up, crawl back down. Crawl up, crawl back down. Squeeze in your stomach the whole time. Doing really good. If it's too tough for you to do it on your toes, do it on your knees. Doing really well. Three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, side sits. Okay, just have a look and see what it looks like. I need you lying on one side and on that same arm, okay? So put that same arm on the floor that you're lying on. And then lift your legs and your elbow in that crunch position, okay? So look, I'm lying on one side, and then I lift up. Three, two, one, let's go. My legs and my elbows are coming up. I'm lying on one side. It's really good for the side. ceiling so to speak okay try not to when you bring your feet back down try not to bring it to the floor try and keep it nice and high at that 90 degree angle three two one let's go keep him there yeah don't allow him to go back to the floor with him engage that whole stomach not just throw him up and down not just throw those legs up and down. Engage your stomach as you do it. Three, two, one, 
Great. Next exercise, you may as well stay where you are because we're now going to do circles with the legs. Okay, I want you to start the circle from the top and then bring your legs all the way around. Create a circle with your legs, okay? Pretty self-explanatory, really. But what's important is that you start the circle from the top, okay? All right, positions, three, two, one, go. Start the circle and bring it all the way around. Doing as much of the circle as you can with your bum in the air. Three, two, one, rest. Last exercise. Can you guess what we're finishing with? Yes. 40 second plank, and that is us complete. You all did well. If you don't know what a plank looks like, here it is. All right, the only thing that should be on the floor is your forearms and your toes, nothing else. Come on, hold this with me. Three, two, one, let's go. Last 40 seconds. 10 days. 10 days you made it. Come on, you didn't come this far to not hold this last 40 second plank. You hold it, you don't quit, you don't drop the knees, not even once. Come on. Breathe. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, well done. We made it, 10 days. 10 day hit routine, I hope you really enjoyed it. But before I give you feedback and advice on this 10 days, I need you to quickly go subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? You shouldn't be watching this video unless you subscribe, because you don't want to miss anything that's coming. Okay, now, feedback on the 10 days. Just like you, this is my first time doing it, okay? Uh, I recorded it brand new, freestyle with you. Um, and I got my weights wrong, you know? Um, sometimes I did squats way too light, sometimes I did not enough burpees, you know, call this one the adjustment um, round, if you want to call it. You should be going back again and getting your weights right, getting your numbers up, getting, getting everything. Now that, you've, now that you know what you're doing, you should just go back and get it done properly. Just call this the round, the warm-up round, if you, want, if you want to call it. And also, if you're targeting certain areas of your body, this is a 10-day hit. Do the 10 days. Do, do them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But then add a six minute burner from my playlist, no shame, no game, for the part of your body that you're trying to target. So you run the 10 day, and then if you wanted to do legs, go on to my six minute burner and do a six minute when you're finished. And that's the advice that I can give you for this. Really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, and hopefully I'll be seeing you next time. Well done.